Welcome back. Every year on the 10th of December, the international community celebrates International Human Rights Day to commemorate the adoption of the Universal Declaration of Human Rights. This year, the world commemorates 75 years of human rights since its inception in 1948. The Human Rights 75 campaign, which runs for an entire year, aims to increase awareness of the Universal Declaration of Human Rights universality and the activism that surrounds it. Joining us to shed more is the Deputy Director in the Gender Mainstreaming Division at the Ministry of Gender Equality, Poverty, Eradication and Social Welfare, Benson Matali. So good evening and uh, welcome to the Daily Roundup. And good evening and thank you for having me and good evening Namibia. Mr. Matali, talk to us about how the Ministry of Gender um, you know, is planning to mark International Human Rights Day this year. Um, International Human Rights Day uh, marks the end of the 16 days of activism against gender-based violence, uh, which started on the 25th of November 2023. So during the 16 days, uh, various events have taken place. Uh, that includes uh, uh, conferences that have taken place during the 16 days and other events that were lined up in all the 14 regions. So uh, this year's International Human Rights Day will be commemorated in all the 14 regions with the main event that is scheduled to take place tomorrow, the 8th of December 2023 in Nkurenkuru, uh, Kavango, West Region. Can you highlight for us any specific events, campaigns or initiatives the Ministry has organized to commemorate Human Rights Day and of course to address uh, gender-related issues? Yes, apart from the, 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 the commemoration, there are ongoing awareness campaigns that have to do with gender-based violence. And as I indicated earlier on, one of them is they just ended uh, the National Men's Conference that took place in two places, uh, in two regions, which is in Karas and also in the uh, uh, Oshana region. And also there are events that will be running in all the 14 regions regarding the commemoration of International Human Rights Day. Mm -hmm. In what ways, Mr. Masali, does the ministry contribute to the promotion of human rights, particularly in the context of gender equality and, and poverty eradication? And the ministry contributes to the promotion of human rights uh, in the context of gender equality in various ways. Uh, one of the ways is through the various programs and initiatives uh, that the ministry has put in place, which are geared towards the promotion of gender equality and the empowerment of women and girls, as well as the um, through the implementation of uh, various uh, uh, international instruments that Namibia has signed and ratified, uh, for instance, uh, the Sustainable Development Goals, specifically when we consider a goal number five, which is on gender equality, when we consider goal number one on poverty, and, and, and the goal number two on extreme hunger. So when we consider all these, um, the ministry contributes to the promotion of human rights. Apart from that, uh, the ministry also contributes towards the implementation of national legal frameworks uh, on gender equality, for instance, the combating of rape act, the combating of rape uh, domestic violence act, the child care and protection act, the combating of trafficking in persons act, all these um, uh, legal instruments that the ministry uh, is implementing are geared towards uh, the promotion of human rights mm -hmm. uh, in the country. Are there any notable uh, challenges that the ministry aims to emphasize or address concerning human rights and social welfare during the activities surrounding this day? Yes, there are some um, identified, uh, I would call them gaps. Uh, for instance, the, uh, there is uh, some kind of continuous increase in terms of gender-based violence in the country, which is uh, one of the human rights violations that the ministry would be addressing, and also the issue of uh, feminization of poverty, which is higher among female-headed uh, households, and also the issue of uh, um, involvement of the girl child in the fields 
of uh, uh, STEM, which is uh, science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. It's one of those uh, uh, areas that uh, the ministry would be considering while we commemorate uh, International uh, Human Rights Day. And are there specific human rights issues uh, that the ministry would be prioritizing or focusing on um, in the coming year? Uh, basically, as I indicated in terms of the challenges, gender-based violence is one of the challenges that the ministry is trying to address uh, with, uh, in collaboration with various stakeholders, be it civil society, NGOs, uh, other ministries and agencies, uh, faith-based organizations. So this is one of the priority areas uh, that the ministry is trying to address. And then uh, secondly, the other area that the ministry would want to address is the issue of uh, trafficking in persons and also the issues of that relates to child marriage, mm. which is also one of the violations of the uh, rights of children. Mm -hmm. Just the very lastly, Mr. Matali, talk to us about the ministry's collaborations with other government agencies or even external partners uh, to strengthen its efforts in upholding human rights um, on this significant occasion. Uh, the ministry uh, collaborates with various stakeholders through the gender coordination mechanism, which is a functional structure that the ministry has put in place which is aimed at Im implementing the areas of focus of the gender policy. And these are uh, being implemented by involving various sectors, such as civil society, the private sector, non-governmental organizations, who participate in the implementation of the policy. So it's a coordination system that we have in place that is geared towards bringing all stakeholders to work together in order to address issues of, uh, of, of, of gender equality and the empowerment of women and girls. Mr. Masali, your final remarks this evening? Uh, my final remark is that uh, we are having the main event that will be taking place in Nkurenkuru, uh, in Kavango West region, that is taking place tomorrow. And we'll have a peaceful match that will be uh, taking place at 7 o'clock in the morning from Nepara Junction to Kurenkuru Expo site. And that's where we'll be having our main event under the theme Dignity, Freedom and Justice for All and will be officiated by the Honorable Minister of Gender Equality, Poverty, Eradication and Social Welfare, Honorable Doreen Sioka. And in participation will be uh, the regional leadership the members of the diplomatic corps, as well as the uh, invited guests and, and, and other speakers that will be uh, joining us. And as such, I would uh, like to invite and extend the invitation to the inhabitants of our Kavango West region and those who are, uh, who are staying in, in Nkurenkuru itself to form part of this commemoration. It will be taking place at Nkurenkuru Expo site. That's where the main event will be taking place. And in all other regions, similar events will be taking place commemorating International Human Rights Day in all the 14 regions. Thank you. Mr. Ben Simatali, thank you so much for your time and thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me. That was uh, Mr. Benson Matali of the Ministry of Gender speaking to us about the commemoration of Human Rights Day, which takes place on the 10th of December each year. We'll be right